Hi there, so in this video I'm going to paint up this pottery that you saw on the front of this video. And um, I'm going to be using the new Substance Painter 2018, which I have to say looks fantastic. Beautiful uh, UI upgrade here, a lot cleaner, a lot clearer. And um, you know, being an artist, it's not doesn't mess with your head like the old one did. It's quite, it was quite cluttered and quite noisy. And you really had to dig around and find things. But here, it's very obvious, very clear, and you feel like you've got a lot more workspace. So I'm really excited to start using this. Um, okay, so let's bring in the model. Go to new. I'm going to go for metallic roughness PBR workflow here, template. Uh, direct date, let's change this to 2048, minimum, I think. Uh, select the model, pottery. Um, I'm really going to go for, try and use a much more procedural uh, workflow for this. I know I, I, in my previous ones, I sort of like to paint, and I will be doing some of that, but uh, I'm going to use a lot more of the... Uh, procedural elements for this. So let's have a look at let's have a look at the texture set here. First thing we need to do is um, bake down our texture sets. And I have two texture sets. I've got um, obviously one for the bowl. It's got its own texture. And I've got one for the bottle. It's got its own texture set too. So uh, let's just uh, Turn that off. Okay, I'm going to add an ambient occlusion to this. Uh, 2048, that's all good. Go on to bake mesh window. Um, input size. This doesn't really matter at this stage. I don't want an ID. I'm not going to be using an ID map, although. No, I'm not going to be using an ID map. Um, let me see, let me see. That's that's all I want to change for now. I'm not using a higher version model. Just going to go from what you see here. This is the high version, although it's not very high. It's good enough for a game asset, uh, but um, that's fine. So let's bake down the texture sets and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go baked. You can see all my mesh maps there, which is cool. And the occlusion, let's turn that off. No, not use it anymore. Um, that's cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's, let's bring this back on, get rid of my bowl. I'm going to focus on this. What I'm going to do is focus on this, create some smart materials, hopefully, for this uh, bottle, and then I can use them on my bowl without doing too much work to the bowl. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so attach to this, that's on. Let's turn that off. <clears throat> I'm really liking this new bar, this new docking bar down the right hand side. It's really, it's really cool. Um, it's all changeable though. If you want to change it back to its old format, you can do. You can, you know, you can move all these things and put it back over here. And, uh, like so and build it up just like it used to be but you know I actually quite like the quick access over here and uh, I can switch it on and off you know you can just it just folds out and then you can switch it away again which is cool um, okay so let's get rid of that layer okay so I'm going to start with a fill layer uh, so let's add a fill layer to my to my layer stack here first one and I'm going to use the color. I'm not going to use the height in this uh, in this layer. I'm not going to use the normal or the AL so they can all go off. Um, I want to choose my color. Let's choose a nice color. Click on dynamic. Let's just choose choose a nice rustic color here make it fairly rich I like rich colors okay -ish. okay that's cool I like that okay it's gonna be um, 
pottery so it's not going to be metal so we're just going to make sure that our metal is completely off so it's dielectric or oh, that's a roughness sign um, turn my metal back on yeah make sure that metal is right down to nothing so it's like i said it's dielectric so it's not um, metal in any way and the roughness as you saw well, i could make it super shiny so it's got a, a glossy paint on it but i'm not going to because i want it to be uh, pottery and i'm going to make it i'm going to put it i want a bit of shine on it because there's going to be some you know things on there so just a subtle shine like that will be fine i think we're going to rename this layer to color base like that okay so uh, i've got my rough roughness sort of roughly <laughs> pardon the pun uh, set up if i press c you can see the value of my roughness channel there press m and go back to that um i'm going to use a material like i said i'm going to use a material from substance designer to create these sort of ridges in my normals and to give it a, a sort of a pottery sort of as if it's been spun on a pottery wheel and it's created these sort of ridges just to give it a sort of oldie woldy sort of oldie look um but I also want lots of sort of blemishes. I don't want it to be consistently smooth like this in terms of its its shininess. So we're going to create another fill layer here. We'll call it. Um, I'm going to create more color layers as well, actually. So I'll probably come back to this and add some more colors. This is going to be roughness. Roughness layer like so now i'm going to add a, a black mask add a black mask like this and it goes well back to where we were which is cool um, i'm also going to go back onto my onto my fill layer here and turn off turn off all of these because i'm not going to use them for this i'm going to sort of build up my rough roughness of, of the sort of surface the, the initial surface first and then I'm going to add my normal map for the ridges yeah okay so we'll take that route now I'm going to add a generator down here so there's my generator now I need to add because uh, it's empty at the moment let me just show you if I pull that out can see it says empty I come down here on my generator slot I can select my dirt you can sort of see it on the surface if I go back here and turn my roughness up a little bit so it's a bit yeah there you go now you can see it a bit more so it's going to be a case of you know going back and forwards changing some values just it's a bit too shiny inside there but we'll come to that later um, yeah, you can see that's working quite nicely yeah I like that that's cool I'll just spin the light around you can see that see that working it's nice go back to my dirt here I can just turn on try planar and that will um, stop any seams from coming through so if I alt and left click onto my roughness alt left click I can see what impact it's having and there's something weird going on around there yeah okay but there you go that's the impact it's having at the moment if we go down to dirt you can just you can play with all these sliders the scale yeah, let's bring that down actually a bit there we go that's better and let's 
Yeah, that's less obvious now. Plunge amount. But yeah, something like that. Edge masking. It's quite cool. Okay. And you can see down here it's using all my baked images um, for this grunge dirt that I've put in there. And the dirt level, I can bring it down and blow it out. Yeah, let's have it somewhere around here or I can invert it which is too much okay let's have a look at that go back press M it's quite subtle but I saw I'm going to do some, a few layers of this I think just to build it up a little bit and um, by the time we finished it will it'll look pretty cool So let's go and yeah, you can see if I turn it on and off, you can see it quite clearly there. Okay, so let's add a fill layer to this. You can add a fill layer to your mask. Uh, if you click on here, add fill, pink, there we go. You can add a, a grayscale into here. And We can add a grunge. Let's, let's type grunge. See what grunges we've got. I just realised it's cutting off down the below, down the bottom of the uh, window. There, I'm sorry about that. Dirt splats kind of makes a bit more sense as it's a container. And you can see it, that's cool. And you can name mess with the balance bit here. Contrast. Oh, I like that. That's nice contrast. Like so. That's quite cool. Just change this grayscale again on this grunge to concrete because I was, wasn't happy with it again. Um, and if I, let, if I press Alt and left click on that, I can see the result of my grunge here. If I turn that off, go back to normal, you can see the, the, one, the dirt underneath doesn't come through. So I want that to happen, so I click on lighten. And I can light, uh, light, light and max, and it comes. Both of them come through. Now this one concrete, I can play with some more. I can play with the scale so that it's a bit like that. And uh, play with the contrast a little bit, the balance. You know, all this is about just. Just getting a good balance, basically. That's looking pretty good up there. Let's have a look. Press M to see what that looks like. Yeah, it's looking pretty scratchy now and pretty dirty. I like that. Yeah, and you can always, once you've got it back here, you can always play with it some more, change the balance a little bit more. Which is cool, there you go, it's quite, uh, quite a nice rough looking surface there so far. That's really cool. Okay, so next, now I've got the rough, roughness there. Let's create a new color layer. Uh, start working on the color here so let's just add another fill layer 
like so. Let's call this color two, what do I call it? color base, color top, or color mid, color mid, there you go. Yeah. It's gonna be like a bit of color on the top. Let's turn off, let's turn off all of these. Keep the height on. We can adjust this height slider to wherever we want it to be. Which is cool. Now we're going to add a black mask onto this. Like so. And we're going to add on here, we're going to add a fill. So, so whatever I put into this grayscale now it's going to fill all over so let's have a look at down here see what we can so what I want to go for is some sort of like a paint effect that was on the top and sort of flaked off so and it's going to be a slightly different color as what we've got there let's have a look what we've got here so it needs to be what was that no that's a bit too smudgy That's quite cool. So look at that. Ooh, that's a bit heavy. <laughs> wow, it's not quite what I was looking for, but that's quite cool. Um, so I'm looking to see if there's a different one here. Something a bit flatter, a bit more painty-ish. I can probably adjust that, but uh, let's go for a different one. If you hold your mouse over these, you can see you get like a little thumbnail of what they're going to be like. Let's try that. No, that's probably a bit too much. Um, it's really difficult. You can always create your own as well. So, you know, just use one. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to just... Just look through these and I'll come straight back with one that I've chosen. Okay, so I've chosen this grunge stain spots and you can see it on my uh, my map there. Uh, on my mesh, I'm gonna go back to material and it's very subtle because what I did was I went back to my fill layer here, down to my null height and I just, just slightly adjusted it because I don't want it too too abrupt like that it's, it's too much so I brought this down so you can just sort of subtly say and these this was this kind of effect I was trying to get in um, designer with my other material which I'll show you in a minute and that's that's much better now um, yeah but I think I need to go back into that and just play with these simply the scared a few more down the scale I'll just make them slightly bigger like this um, yeah, that's not too bad let's go down here oops sorry let's go down this play with this balance a little bit and this is all about just adjusting things. I've got the contrast. The contrast down. Go back to my main value and adjust that. Pull that down a little bit. There you go. That's starting to look a bit more like it now. There, yeah, that's that's nice. I like, I like that effect on there. That's cool. That's very cool, in fact. Okay, so that's good. I like it. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna add my um, normal from the material I created in uh, Designer. Let me just quickly go to the Designer and show you that. Here it is. Um, scroll out here. You can see what I'm after is these grooves. It's very small um, graph, very it's simple. I just wanted to create these grooves very specifically in this direction like this uh, just to give me that pottery look so when it spins on the wheel you get this sort of groovy 
groovy look and I can dampen that down inside Substance Painter as well. If you look at the graph, it's very simple. I just created a couple of shapes for the thicker lines and then thinner random lines in between. I blurred them and I blended them two together. I added some clouds noise there and again blended that noise with the with the blend of the lines and kind of got this, which is pretty cool. I also added some small dents in there. You can see I just uh, using cells and then uh, using the grayscale to blur them out slightly because they're a bit too sharp uh, and then I put them to again into a blend and then pipe that into the normal map uh, base color I've just set a color but I'm not I'm not going to use that obviously uh, but it's there if I want to uh, roughness kept it very rough because um, it's pottery so it's not it's dielectric it's not metallic and hence why my metallic is also black like that and then finally I created some small bumps into the height but upon looking at them in substance they don't work so I'm just not going to use them I'll just turn off the height and they won't appear so that's my um, uh, substance in designer I also exported this so I could bring it into substance so let's go and take a look at it now so you can see it here in my uh, shelf. So if I'm gonna drag this on now into here and just drop it in, boop, and there it is. Okay, first off, let's get rid of color. Don't need that. Let's get rid of the height. Don't need those hideous bumps. Um, let's tile this. Uh, in fact, let's change it to triplanar. So we get the horizontal. Let's try this and there it goes. Now it's getting there. That's cool. But I want obviously want this other stuff to come through as well. Um kind of is a little but now we're gonna add a black mass to this. Like that, so we got complete um transparency through. Right now we're going to add a generator to this. Let's add a generator, and in that generator is now empty. We're going to add. I was I was playing with fiberglass, and this is quite interesting because it's, it's got a lot of values that you can see already. It's starting to come through. It's got scratches on it, and uh, I think we can play with this to really bring out that, that groove of the of the normal there um, so you know I can have it full on and it's back to where it was if I want to but I'm not going to do that so I want to blend it with the uh, with the roughness of these that I've set up and I want to blend it on those big blobby blobs on it as well and that's starting to look pretty cool actually yeah I want to, I'm going to be careful about these scratches because I want to, I don't want them to be too too obvious. You should try playing on there. Right? It's just a case of playing with this now and making it the best. Yes the roughness is coming through quite nice I'll have to go back and, and uh, adjust that. Um, let's just have a look I mean, I think we can play with that some more. Let's just take that up a little bit. I really like this blend, it's really cool. That hatching. So, you know, what I can also do, I can actually bring it up a bit more, like this. And then I can use a secondary custom grunge layer down here. Let's have a look. Look at that to take out patches of it as if it's been held over time and and um, you know worn worn the grooves down more and you know obviously I can use the balance on this as well to pull that in and out as much as I want. That's fantastic. That's looking pretty damn good now. I like that. It's got my 
specs on it it's got my splodges on it it's got my grooves on it the let's go down and take a look at this roughness level um here it's looking a bit shiny i don't want it to come through too much you can see it's a bit too yeah, i'm liking the look at that now that's really cool let me show you a picture that I found on the internet and um, see what you think. It's actually on Pixabay, um, so it's a free image I can use. There's this one which um, I'm kind of sort of aiming for, but I wanted a more, more grooves. Yeah, that's quite flat and smooth. I wanted a bit more grooves, but you can see all the sort of Sort of bits on it and uh, I'm going this paint layer is going to change some more so and I'm going to put patterns on it as well so that's kind of what I'm after in terms of color and and variation there you can see this one here um, it's got these grooves on it which is what I was, the effect I was trying to get over here it's probably a bit much I could probably increase that make them bigger if I want something like that you can also see that it's got all these nicks on it and um, all the blobs on it, which is what I was trying to achieve as well. And that color variation. Let's just go back up here and have a look at this. Let's try this adjusting the scale, see if it will mix. Yeah, maybe it is a bit, you know, if we make it two instead of four. Maybe that's cool actually, maybe that's a bit better. Yeah, maybe we should leave it like that. I'm gonna work on the bottom some more. There's a separate there's a separate layer, I think. Um, but I like these smoother areas where the blobs are. We've got the dents coming through more now. And that's starting to that's starting to work quite well now. I'm liking the surface of that, it's quite cool. It's not too shiny. That's cool. <clears throat> I think what we need to do is mix up the paint in a minute later and start adding a really different colours there uh, to make it give it a lot more variation in the colour. But yeah, I'm starting to like where this is going now. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, so this is starting to come together now. I'm going to go back to well, first of all, I want to rename this because it's not really it's these flecks of dirt that I've got on there. So I'm going to change this so it reflects what it is. Uh, I'm going to call it flex.